your little guys up front with dad. I wanted to just kind of talk to you a little more about your options because um, your little guy has some cavities. So I want to okay. answer some of your questions. Okay, great. So as we talked about, he has some cavities in the front teeth and the starts of cavities in the back teeth as well. And there's two different treatment options that we have. The traditional way would be to remove the cavities and put fillings in. Mm -hmm. Um, but of course, because your child is so young, we would have to talk about doing anesthesia or at least sedation in order to do that. There is another option, though, that I wanted to talk to you about. It's called silver diamine fluoride. Mm -hmm. And what that is, it's a material that we actually paint on the teeth that kills off the bacteria that um, causes those cavities. Hmm. Okay. What, what's required, like what would he have to do? How would it be for him? Yeah, it's actually really easy. So no numbing, no anesthesia. Uh, what we do is we would keep him with the lap to lap again, mm -hmm. like we did the exam, mm -hmm. and then I would paint on the material, and it goes on, it's clear when it goes on, and it actually penetrates the teeth where the bacteria is causing that cavity, and it kills off that cavity. So it's really amazing, hmm. and it's very cutting edge. Is, are there any side effects? The biggest drawback would be that it does uh, color those areas. So right now you can see where he has those cavities are a little bit yellow. Mm -hmm. But once we paint the silver diamine fluoride on, they will get darker. So sometimes they're a dark brown color or mm -hmm. almost black. So that's the biggest. Uh, How visible will that be? You probably will see them, especially for the front teeth and the back teeth when we do those. I doubt that anyone would see them except for me or you when you're looking closely, but no one else would notice those. If it's, if it's like too much, is, can we change it You at can, some point? yeah. So we could do the procedure today and kill off that bacteria. And then when he's older, or if you decide it bothers you, we can always change it. So um, for instance, once your son is around four, he probably can sit in the chair mm -hmm. and then we can remove those areas where he had the cavities and put in white fillings if that's your preference. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this something that, that you would recommend? I would. Have more? I would. I think it's okay. a really great way to go. Um, traditionally, the surgical management of cavities is drilling out the cavity, filling it. But this is a really great way to go. It's more of a medical management mm -hmm. of cavities because instead of drilling and filling, we're painting on mm -hmm. a, um, you know, a medicine that's killing off that bacteria. So would this be as as permanent as the traditional way of doing the fillings? I would say solution. it's it's more permanent, but it doesn't um, it doesn't make it so he could never get cavities again. So mm -hmm. it only kills off the cavity that's currently present, and then it, it's done. So it's called arresting the cavity. Mm -hmm. However, he could still get new cavities. So what I generally recommend is after we do the procedure, we'll bring him back in two weeks to make sure that it has worked. Sometimes we have to do an application if it looks like the cavity is still a little bit present in that same area. Mm -hmm. And then we'll bring him back every six months and check him again. So um, if we see new cavities, in different areas, which hopefully we won't, mm -hmm. but in case that we do, then we can talk about doing the procedure again with the painting. The whole process for him only takes about two to three minutes. Okay, sounds like it would be possibly a good idea. Okay, great. Any other questions? I think that covers it. Okay, great.